Hello and welcome back to the Dark Souls 2, as played by the Crate and Crowbar. Who are you, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> he said, with a spoiler. <laughs> little spoiler uh, there. His eyes, Tom Senior, uh, jumping around the um, Sunken King's domain, and you are... Marsh Davis. I'm not doing anything, I'm just sitting here drinking wine. The one and only Marsh Davis. And uh, we've raised all these platforms for no real reason. Um, Can't seem to get through them now. No. But we've got the vampire, which means uh, we're basically fucking sorted forever. Um, How do we get down, down from here? That's the question. Be interesting. Let's go out this way. Um, uh, that looks a bit more doable. Still not healthy. Well, uh, it's fine. I'll take it. And in fact, then you, yeah, you've come the right way. There you go. There's the, there's the way down. Good. Speed things up. Right. I'm gonna put paid to those ghostly soldiers that did this last time. Well, you weren't expecting that, were you? Nice. Right in the vine. You in the vine and spine, Jesus. <laughs> lovely wine. Yeah, lovely wine. <laughs> put me in a bind. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> shit. Oh, no. That's alright. I've died there at least three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. It's that little kink in the, uh, in the path, but you don't see it as you're coming down to it. And the pathway seems to turn off to the left, so you just think, oh, I'm going to go down here, turn left. Full but, speed, full pelt. Uh, yeah, there's a little kind of U. There's a bend leading up to my old house, uh, which is called the Corner of, of Death by people, colloquially, people in there, because uh, no one had died taking the corner, but uh, two car, separate cars flipped into a local nearby garage. Jeez. It's still sort of garage. Of like, more like Not a garage, uh, but a, a garage. And it's always the same garage. The corner tightens very quickly towards the end, and cars tend to overcompensate and mm. occasionally even flip. So, very exciting. Whereas uh, I merely rolled into an abyss, <laughs> which I've done many times in games. In fact, many times in this playthrough. So, have you done that in the car? Uh, no, I can't drive. Thank fuck. <laughs> Genuinely, think I'd kill someone if I could drive. Yeah. That's why I really, really hate the car. I gave oh, it a go yeah. once. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I yeah. didn't dig it. Sorry, I hate my fucking relentlessly buzzing phone. Oh god. He's Look good. how sneaky that is. Yeah. They they know. Yeah, they, they know. know what players. Whoa. <laughs> no, I, I get so many mo more moments of, uh, you know. I, I feel like I meet the designers more in the DLC areas than I do in the rest of the game. Mm. Like, um, those moments where you have a little. It's almost like a little dialogue with the designers where you, you know. You fuck up, and you think, yeah, they 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 planted that. There. <laughs> they, they know the mistakes that players make when they try and take it. Oh, we've been here this time. So uh, the, the dragon doesn't fireball the second time you're here. No, no, we're all good. In fact, uh, it replaces it with this lovely gauntlet of of, of shit. It's fine then. We'll take more. Lovely. Um, it's fine. Well, if you want to read the text message, we can see. No, it. I wanted to turn it off so it wouldn't it stop buzzing. So I'm going, what I'm going to do is to turn it off. Yeah. And pwn these noobs. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, they're a bit uh, spiky, these guys. Oh. What a, what a fucking scrub. <laughs> I was thinking about just backing away yeah, and no. doing it blindly like I did before, but uh, I felt quite much like that. So, uh, that's not. Bonk, bonk. That does handle them with a single one, as we said. Ah, oh, no, an item as well. That's sweet. sweet. Two items, gosh. Poison moss. There'll be no law on that. Poison moss. There'll be no law God on that. God damn it! I want your sexy law dark souls. We could, um, we could eat a strange coin. Eh, it's fine. It'll give us more loot. Oh, okay, well, if you want to. I, I, I think. Well, I don't know. I've, never, I've literally never ever used the item <laughs> in all of Dark Souls, one and or two. Uh, I think it's the coin. There's a shit here. God, there's all kinds of stuff. I don't know why I've never even is. looked at any of this stuff. <laughs> That's the, um, it's the benefit of being a giant. Oh, what about the uh, thing with 11 on it? And right there. Rusted, Rusted corn boost. Oh, that. That's, That's what, we, what need. we need. You wouldn't want to eat one of those, really. But nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Tasty, rusty cookie. <laughs> Proves our luck. 
that's Dark Souls logic <laughs> for you. Cool, we're, we're back in the the badass place now. Mm -hmm. no Things get harder, like noticeably harder from here on in. So, uh, so it's the right, I think, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Here, yes. These guys can be stopped. Just gotta kill their corpses first. Oh no, hang on, no, they're no. corporeal now. That's the thing, once you destroy their armour, ah. their uh, armour returns to the spirit and they become permanently corporeal. Oh, nice, and also sneak up a ball on. Yeah, they can be backstabbed and instantly killed. Not really an adjective, but I turned it into one. <laughs> they're quite dopey as well, so uh, being, you know, spirits, so they're quite easy if you're careful. Bonk. Lovely. Gosh, Got and chests as well. Lovely chests. Did not. What's a chest? Decided not to investigate last time. Titanite, excellent. That's good. We need to. Uh, we haven't done episode. actually. No. We, we haven't we're not really done any kind of uh, no, no. upgrading to our weapons or kit in a long time. Anyway, we've been, we really have not played this game like an RPG. <laughs> have we? Mm -hmm. we just we just kind of like moseyed on and just done the combat game, which is cool. I quite yeah. enjoy. I like that. I love that that stuff's there for people who really want to max their builds and become uh, cheesy magic characters. Not for me. Katarina Helm? What is that? Oh my god! Oh my god, that's, uh, that's going to be the Onion Knight's armour. Is it? Yes! Look at it there. Oh, Look at that. Down, down, right. Oh, of course! There you go. Oh, it's fucking immense as well. <laughs> the helmet appears rather absurd, but its multi faced construction is in fact quite practical. It effectively deflects physical attacks. It really isn't practical. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if I know, I imagine. The old tales speak of brave Katarina knights wearing this helmet as they rushed courageously into battle. They did in Dark Souls 1. You meet, you meet a couple a couple of Katarina knights, don't you? You do, yes. Uh, yeah. A father and a daughter? Or? Yeah, both who meet tragic ends, I believe. Oh, yeah, really cool characters in the first game. We could try that helmet on, see if, see how it fits. Is it going to be better than uh, our Dildo Squid? I, I doubt it. I think we'll switch back immediately, but, but it's, let's, it's let's worth give it a try, go. isn't it? It all depends on the stats. I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually yeah, open to the idea of switching it out for the Onion Knights. Helm. It it's better. Bottom left. Oh yes. How do I miss it every time? Because I've been <laughs> most uh, extraordinary thing. Sorry. Um, yeah, significantly better, and for not an enormous amount of weight cost. Uh, oh, let's go for it. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. So yeah, good. we have to wear this. So I'm good. Afraid. Look at that. Look like a fucking hamburger. Brilliant. Gone from a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's this like is, one of those ice drops. This doesn't... Uh, this, this, this is, this is brilliant. to our character. <laughs> right, be careful here. Oh, God, there's a lot of bad things around here. Also sneak up in this area if you now do it. It's very useful. Whoops. Oh, these guys seem a bit tough. They are tougher side. and they poison you. Oh, yeah. Like just ah, like you have been, you need to take a swig. Need to get the fuck out and take a swig. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Ouch. motherfuckers! No, I didn't wow, this is this is tough area actually, isn't it? Yeah, this is tricky. You've got to take these guys out because the pit to the left um, is full of about a half a dozen enemies as well. So you have to charge in and do them. Yeah, I'm gonna equip some poison moss to the old uh, quick bar. Ah, I see. That's why the enemies were dropping it, eh? Oh, but it was equipped. Good. Let's unequip that piece of total junk. Actually... Oh, they're not wait. They don't cause weight at all. Right. I think you can just jump down without aggroing that guy. Because you're going back that way. Yeah. Can you get past this guy without aggroing him? Although you could just kill him. Might as well. Really matter. It's a really cool animation. Kill, kill him if you got him. him. As the phrase <laughs> he doesn't go in. Good avoidance of, uh, of the death there. That's, uh, the end of death. Prove that. Ah, oh, the new helmet makes it marsh. It does. I feel like a new man. You look so formidable. It's fantastic. It's like. It's like that, uh, uh, what was the movie? <laughs> is it Frank? Frank. Is it Frank? Frank. The movie. Oh, yes, yeah. Is it Frank? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I'm, I'm really blanking <laughs> on the name. That doesn't seem to feel right for some reason. Oh, God. It's not Frank, is it? It's something else. <laughs> do, you, do you know the film? I'm, I'm, I'm on Ted Hooks. I know what you mean, yeah. It's the uh, cartoon head. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Written by John Ronson uh, with. Uh, it's Frank, isn't it? It's Frank. Is it? I don't know. Oh. Ah! That's, that's this is uh, this has become <laughs> the mystery of the episode. Now. <laughs> Uh, is it Frank? People are like, what, what <laughs> fucking film are they talking about? It's probably something that's not even called cool Frank. It's not even a name. I love that. I love that. Like, first of all, you've gone from the Onion Knight, the, the Onion Knight from Game of Thrones. Like, we're referencing, like, oh, we've, yeah. we've over referenced Marsh. We're, <laughs> we're referencing in random tangents, so we need to kind of curb this in, otherwise, we're never going to make it home. <laughs> The, the, on the Onion Knight is the reference in Dark Souls, though. That's not just totally random. That's what they, they he's called. Yeah, he's called the Onion Knight, actually. Uh, is that what they call him in Dark Souls 1? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, actually, now you're making me think. Like, uh, at least at least colloquially, he is known in the Dark Souls community as the Onion Knight. He does look like a giant onion. And it, I think he is known as the Onion Knight in, in, in the actual lore. How do you drink through that? Brilliant. <laughs> He's splashing <laughs> Estes into his face. <laughs> Dribbling all over him. Oh. To be honest, you're, you're not the most subtle looking of, uh, <laughs> no, of uh, I think I've lost silhouettes. Some, lost a bit of still. The dil dildo bat was not no worthy, but a giant onion head. Good, good. Giant onion floating towards them through the dock. Oh. Yeah, I've just, uh, just, just waltzed in there. That's fine. Yeah, it's, it's actually better to kite them out here, I think. Come on, then. Do what you got to do. Ouch. Yeah, they're actually a lot better. Poison doesn't They also seem a little bit more kind of uh, alert. Well. Yeah, definitely. Get back. Yeah. It's that, that poison that can... Oh, yeah. That's going to do you if you... You can take that while moving. Just oh, nice. Estus. Oh, he's Estus. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Didn't see that, that, did you? teach you to try and dive comp me over a coffin. Oh, he did actually. <laughs> gonna... <laughs> You've got to get up to fall over in video games. That's how it works. Got to get up to get down. Whoa! Ah, dropped on. Good. Down there, you're next. Ah, there's yeah. a spell caster in bit there of, somewhere. Bit of fucking magic down there. Ah, get back! Ah. Never ever use that. Game's hard enough as it is, thank you very much. Uh -oh. What the fuck is that? Dark it's kind of creepy looking. Mm. If I remember rightly, best thing to do is just to rush up. Do those guys afterwards. Charge! this switch a lot and really fuck up that uh, giant really strange rotating wall behind him which is actually a giant door whoop bonk and a bonk and a moss yeah the way to make him go away is to go over that switch bye goodbye bye, bye. <laughs> yeah you got hit me now good and uh, best this time good work on that room that was uh, no uh, no mean feat no Jeez. I really like the challenges in the DLC, they feel very well balanced and interesting. It, uh, it's like, yeah, rush the spellcaster, take that out the equation. See, and there you go, there's the door. Lovely. Pretty ominous. Yeah, series. this. I wouldn't like to be in this very narrow no. passage. It's quite effective psychologically, there's that singing again. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Does that tie in uh, in a kind of thematic way with... With the Belfinitos and things? Yes. I actually can't remember. 
But surely it must, now <laughs> I think about it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, it's got Skittering. blinked on. Skittering. Ah, horrible things. Uh, uh. Horrible things too narrow to hit with his vibe. Shit. Don't want to go down there, but we might be forced to you now. Bad place, really? Marsh. It's a bad place. Oh no, there's... No, it's good, it's fine. Good. There's all these lovely spikes instead. Yeah, this... Can you walk through them without taking damage? Presumably not. Better test this. No, okay. Good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not like Spelunky spikes, then. Mm, instant death for them. Yeah, now there is going to be some wraiths, and I can't remember where their armor is. Which means things are going to get tough. Ouch. Ah! Uh. Oh, I guess you need to find their uh, armor. Yep. Weirdly, um, my first playthrough was doing damage. I think I had an elementally charged sword, which did some damage. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. interesting. As it is, we're going to have to fucking bluff it. Oh, God. Oh, Christ. I think, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Switch over there might help. There's a ladder over there, which we'll probably go up to get across. I can't remember precisely where their armor is, but I've got a much better idea of how to get around the area than I did the first time I came in. This is where the DLC really takes a big difficulty leap. Hmm. But an interesting one. Yeah, very much designed about... Oh, Christ, we're still back here. Fuck. There must be another bonfire in that yeah. cigarette, surely. I don't recall where it is. Ah, shit. Let's try it. No. Yeah, try it. No. no, you don't. <laughs> we meet again. On the bridge of death. Oh my oh, god! Christ. Oh, goodness me. Wow, that was... That'll teach me to fall short of this rank. Punishing. Man, really... Didn't spare you. <laughs> okay, no mercy. I love the way they've got kind of mould growing all over them, almost like a kind of coral. Hmm. It's quite in, uh, in keeping with the area, the kind of fungus and stuff you see around the place. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be okay. <laughs> so maybe this is the area from which the uh, the the poison which fills the rotten's effigies is harvested in some way. It would make sense given that we are directly below the, uh, the gulch at this point. Although you know, Dark Souls Two isn't a game short of poison, given there is the poison mills. Uh, it's not a game short of nonsense area transitions as well. No, indeed. Yeah. So uh, it's hard to really tie one area to another one. I'm trying though, Tom. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it, man. The devs didn't bother. But, you know, <laughs> we're, we're giving it. That's go. why we're here. That's what the Quaint Grove is for. We'll join those dots that don't exist. Come on. Yeah, get out of your system. Go on then. Clock. Idiot. Yeah. I'll run up and hit him with the flat blade. There we go. Down here, all easy. Oh, what? I thought you were oh, invulnerable yeah. using, using that animation usually, aren't you? Yeah, normally. Though it's kind of bullshit that you are really, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's pretty There we go. Good, good, good. What's this? Oh, right. Old growth bomb. Lovely. Don't know what that means. Some sort of wizard shit, I think. 
wizard shit. <laughs> so those ghosts are going to be back again, are they? They will. We'll both have them. It'll be fine. Could we go past this room without going into it? Uh, no, because the fight there mm. inevitably bleeds into here. Because oh, I see. So it goes. Dopey motherfuckers. Yep. I'm glad of their frailties. They didn't see me coming. They just magically detect you. <laughs> hmm. Maybe if I was wearing a uh, lighter armor. Maybe. Ouch. Take a swig. If you can. Hmm. <laughs> Nicely done. It such a mess. No, you don't. She kind of looks like a flower or a growth herself. Yeah, she does. Actually. Yeah, it's cool. Good. So, that guy's partly exposed. I think you're going to need to click that wheel a couple of times. Oh. Probably don't need to have a homeward bone equipped on the um No you're right. Quick bar. Alright, uh, quite correct. I see we jump across the hole this time, see so, uh, that skips us a bit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Interesting. Can you fire that? The flamer? Let's go back and see in a sec. We have to go across both for the second time in the entire playthrough. Oh yeah, that's that's how people build things. They, <laughs> <laughs> they just build massive corridors and nothing. Yeah, let's see if we can shoot through that gap. Definitely a door, isn't it? Yep, I'd say so. You could just use your pyromancy, that might work. Yeah. I, well, I don't know, actually. You're probably a bit too close to it to to, to find the trajectory, but give it a go. Oh, it did work. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Hooray! I've never done this before, so... I really want it to be a bonfire, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fat chance, I'm afraid. Are there no bonfires in here? There must be. I can't remember precisely where the next ones are, actually. Yeah, this isn't a shortcut. Whoa, whoa, You don't want to go whoa, down there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a bad way to go. How did that get triggered even? It's not oh. dead. Oh, you twat. <laughs> Nasty Estus chugging twat. Anyway. It's triggered by, I think, this raised bit on the floor where I stand on this. Huh. Oh yeah, yeah. It's hard to see because the um, blood stain okay. and the message. On Helpful it. message. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Yes. Thanks, thanks, guys. Oh. Let's hope there's not one on the bottom as well when you're yeah, angry at this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aware of that. I kind of want to actually see if I can just wait to. Is that the one? No. <laughs> that was ambitious, wasn't it? Really. You could do it with the crossbow.
Or is he still alive? Look at that. Come oh, here. There you go, a couple of chests. And they're not booby trapped either. Well, this one isn't. Petroid Dragon Bow. Mm. What's that do? I wrote the. Good in some way. Don't remember what either of those do either. They are. They will attach elemental effects to your weapons. Ah. So if you want an electrical thing, you use bolt stone. Oh, of course. Right. Um. Hmm. So. Hmm. Try hidden path. It says. Oh. Huh. Oh. Ah, cool. Thanks. Oh, it's useful. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Never been down here. Never had to go down here. Don't know if it's some sort of giant shortcut or a secret boss or something. Oh. Should I go back? I guess so. It's the only way. So the only way to go is to drop down. Yeah, apparently so. Hmm. Interesting. And you say that the way into the insectoid place is worse than the way we've already tried? Yeah, I don't remember it being terribly shitty. Um. Where's the nearest bonfire? That's the that's that's real what, thing. That's what we all really want to know. Yes. You're, you're pretty much fucking up those insects, though. Yeah, let's go down there. Let's see. We've got to see what's going on, really. How much worse could it be, Tom? It does look a long way to drop, though. Ouch. Maybe that's why it's hard. Oh shit, says so Damn. I am unfortunate. Let's try that place next time. I have a better feeling about it than the other way with the invisible spirits that we can't hurt until we find there. Mm. I've got a really vivid image in my head of the place where their suits actually are, but no memory of how precisely to do that. Boing. Boing. I'm sure you won't follow all the way across the bridge. Let's see what happens. That's gotta be that's gotta be far enough, isn't it? Yeah. He's heading back. I might that's just good. I might also taunt these guys and try and get this thing. Well just Oh yeah, okay. Mm, that worked pretty well. Not sure that follow means the um complex. So the vowels. Of the ziggurat. Guess we'll find out. Cut the sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Just a voice handy. Good work. Oof. Ouch. Flaky. She's a bit mean, actually, isn't she? Yeah, she she's just loads of damage if she gets you. And then not if you kill her straight away. I see the NPC side actually trigger the um Oh it the doesn't seem that way actually. Yeah, that's useful. It's good to know anyway. That's good to know. What happens if you can you get in there and trigger it at the same time? Uh, yes, problem. I think you can actually. Did, can it does it take you up to the next top, upper level? I think that's how you get there, yeah. 
Oh. Hmm. No, you can't really, can you? Because it requires somebody to, to yeah. pressure it. Maybe you could do it with a summon? I don't know. I might be able to shoot it from up there. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Do you want to try that? I don't know where it's going to take you. Might as well. Let's get crossbow under B. I'll just flame it. Okay. It worked before. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how I target it. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. You can't aim it. Maybe a crossbow is the way to go. We'll see what we're up there. Whee! <laughs> yeah, dumb idiot. Found this. Oh, hey? No. Oh. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> this is what we try to do here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hey, you unequipped your arrows as well, so you need to equip those. Yeah, you're right. Or bolts, even. A wood bolt. A bolt will do. We are geniuses, Marsh. Or you are. It's not going to take us anywhere. We can't even get out of there. Ah, oh, oh, fuck. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, we, we're not supposed to be here. There's no way. <laughs> In short, hurrah for pointless. We did it though, Marsh. I think uh, I think that's an uh, achievement probably for this session, to be honest. Yeah, I think that is... Uh, <laughs> oh, we're never getting out, that's for sure. <laughs>